What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMasochist.com um, Today I want to make a video on something that has less to do with training and more to do with life in general, but it can be applied to anything. Um, for those of you who don't follow my channel or haven't followed it for a long time, you may not know this. For those of you who have followed my channel for a while, you probably do know. Um, I have, growing up, always struggled with... Um, let's say negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative feelings, depression, you know, not thinking much of myself and stuff like that. Um, now, I always thought that more or less how you feel is reality. Your thoughts are reality. That's why you feel the way you do, because the way reality affects you has everything to do with, you know, that being the case. If you're feeling negative, it's, it's because you should feel negative. It's because you suck or something like that. And that's what a lot of people feel like. They go, I feel negatively because I suck. No. What you think dictates how you feel. What you think is not necessarily reality. Um, you could take the exact same circumstance, think of it differently, feel differently, and all of a sudden your reality is different or your perceived reality. Um, this is because we largely live in our own head. What we think is reality to us. What we believe is reality to us. That's why there are so many different religions with so many people thinking different things and their reality is different because of that. So what I have learned to do in order to go from being the kind of person that I more or less used to be to the kind of person I am now, which believe it or not is drastically different, is I have learned to view my situation differently. I have learned to, on a daily basis, probably somewhere between three and, literally three and six times a day, I literally sit down and I think through my situation, whatever I'm in, in a positive manner. Because I catch myself getting upset about certain things. I catch myself being negative about certain things. I catch myself um, being unhappy throughout the day with certain things. You won't even know why but all of a sudden you're unhappy. You could just, everything could be going well and all of a sudden you realize that the room you're in is dirty and it aggravates you and you're just, ugh, something like that. You know, everything could be going well and all of a sudden the meal you made isn't, doesn't taste right or you didn't cook it right or you forgot something. And all of a sudden all the good things that you have just seem to fade away and you focus on that negative. And if you start to focus on that negative, if you start to get unhappy about it, if you start to let yourself get down about it, all of a sudden, everything else starts to show up. All the other negative things that you can think of pop up. You stub your toe. Terrible. Um, there's a nick on your car. All of a sudden, you notice the nick on the, in the fabric in the back of your seat. All of a sudden, you realize at some point, someone smoked a cigarette in your car and burned a hole somewhere. Um, all of a sudden, you start to notice all these negative things and what ends up happening is, is you bring on what you're thinking about. You bring on the negative stuff to yourself that you have been thinking about. So what I choose to do about a few times a day is rather than focus in on the negative things, I focus in on the positive things. I do this with myself. I do this with my girlfriend. I've done it with my friends. I do it with my clients. I tell people, and you know, I don't tell, if I'm not around, I tell them to. I might tell a client to do this, but what I'll do with myself and what I'll do with my girlfriend is I'll go through a list of things that I'm really happy about. I'll go through a list of reasons that I should be a very upbeat, very happy, you know, person. And I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say, let's say there's a, this 16 year old kid. Um, because I, I work with a lot of, you know, young guys, work with a lot of kids and young men and stuff like that. 16-year-old kid, he comes home from school, he's not that popular in school, he doesn't have a lot of friends, he doesn't have a girlfriend in school, and he feels like the only thing he has in his life is training, and his workout went poorly. He doesn't like school, he doesn't know what he wants to do with college, he doesn't get along that well with his parents, he doesn't have a lot of friends, he doesn't have his driver's license, he doesn't have a job, he doesn't have money. To him, He's miserable. He's so unhappy. So unhappy. Everything's terrible. Um, it will never get better. And, you know, all the time he deals with these feelings of, you know, rage and depression and sadness and hopelessness. And he lives his life this way perpetually. Now, I'm not speaking, there's not a specific person I'm referring to. 
Um, I, this is just very general. Um, now, what I would do with this person is I would first tell them, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just do it as if, as if I'm talking to you, because there's probably a lot of teenagers right now in that position, and they just think everything's terrible. You probably think everything's terrible because you don't have a girlfriend, because you don't have a car, because you don't have money, because you don't have a job, because your parents can tell you what to do, because you don't like school, because you don't know what you're trying to do with your life. Everything just seems hopeless. You probably watch your other older siblings struggle in life, your parents struggle in life, and you don't have much hope for yourself. Um, let me ask you something, man. Are you in constant pain? No? Your back isn't destroyed, you can walk. You can train, you can focus on the things that you love. You have hobbies that you truly care about. You have things that you truly want to work towards that are going to give you the life that you want to live. You're trying to get a girl, you're trying to get a girlfriend or whatever, and you're currently working on improving your looks. You're currently working on improving your education. You're currently working on getting older so you can get that car, so you can get that job, so you can have that life you want. That's extremely fortunate. That's something to be very happy about. And I'll tell you why. Because you know the things you want. You know what they are. You know what it is you don't want to be, and you know what it is you do want to be, and you have things that you love and you work towards. There are people who can't walk. And I'm not telling you, go find the person in the worst situation ever so you can feel good about your life. No. I'm telling you to feel good about your life because you have lots of things to feel good about. You're young. You're not stupid. You might think you're ugly. Not everyone does. A lot of people don't think you're ugly at all. You might be fat. Fat's something you can lose. You might go, oh, well, I have gyno. I have tits. I'll never take my shirt off again. So do like 50% of guys. You might go, oh, okay. Well, like my dick is small and I'm like worried about it and like whatever. There are a lot of people that don't have like huge dicks. No pun intended. Uh, this isn't to be funny. There are a lot of people in your situation that do just fine, that have girlfriends, wives, that love them, okay? Not only that, but there's other things that you can do. You can do way more stuff than just, like, fucking. You can do all kinds of other things for that girl that will make her love you and stuff. There is nothing that you see someone else doing in life that you can't work towards, that you can't build up to. You look at other people with a good job, how lucky are they? You too can work towards that job. You too can work towards that degree in school. You too can work towards that dream body. You too can work towards that dream girl. Okay? There is nothing in your life right now that can't be improved on through positive thought, through hard work. Okay? What I like to do with myself is, I like to go through all the things that I've been working towards. All the things that I'm fortunate enough to work towards because I have the opportunity to, just like you do. Having the opportunity to improve your life is the absolute greatest blessing that you could possibly have. Because your doors are not closed. Your door is wide open, waiting for you to go outside, waiting for you to find all the things that make you happy. Okay? A lot of people go, oh, life is going to be terrible, and it's going to be hard, and everything's going to be miserable, and I'm, I'm never going to find a girl that doesn't cheat on me, and I'm never going to find a, or I'm never going to get big, I'm never going to be strong, I'm never going to look how I want. Why even bother? Why even go to school? I don't want to do it. I hate it. Why even work? Terrible job, etc., etc. Not the case at all. However, if you tell yourself that, if you believe that, if you dwell on that all the time, you will make that your reality and you will prove that to yourself because you'll see it everywhere you look. If you aren't thinking about something, you're not looking for it, you're not going to find it nearly as easily. If you're thinking about, if you go outside and go, oh my god, it is a beautiful day. The air is clean, the sky is, you know, bright and blue, there's these pretty clouds. I don't have anything to do today, or I had tons to do today but I accomplished it, or I'm fortunate enough to have lots of things that I want to do today, or I get to do things that I don't necessarily want to do but I'm so happy and so proud that I'm working towards them. I get to go to school and get this degree and finish this grade and get 
you know, whatever I'm trying to work towards. I get to go to my job and make money and work towards being the manager. I get to go and interact with these other people. The key to happiness is not achieving your goals, but it's working towards them. The key to happiness is viewing your life in a positive way instead of a negative way. And I'll tell you right now, this is something that you can change immediately. Because when you reach your goals, if you are negative all the way up to them, if you are unhappy all the way up to them, that is a mindset that you will still have once you reach them. There is not a status that will make you happy. There is not a, an end result that will make you happy. You have to be a positive person to begin with in order to continue to be a positive person in the future. And you have to be a positive person more or less to begin with in order to work towards these worthwhile things. Now I'm not telling you you have to be positive in every way, but you have to be positive about the things that you're trying to work towards. Otherwise, not only will you not work towards them, but you won't even think that you can. You'll be the kind of person that tells yourself everything is terrible, that there are no good jobs for you, so you won't go after it. That there are no girls that don't cheat or will want you, so you won't find them. That there are no friends that won't fuck you over, and so you'll never get them. You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you are an extremely capable human being. You are very lucky for countless reasons. For the way you look, for the air you're able to breathe. You ever been around someone with lung cancer? They struggle to breathe all the time. You don't. You're unhappy that you don't have a job because you're 16. You're unhappy that you don't have a car. Or that you're going to have to wait some period of time before you find the girl you want to be with. You're unhappy for the wrong reasons. Okay? You should be happy that those are the only things you have to be unhappy about. You should be happy that you have the opportunity to work towards things that you know make you happy. That you know what will make you happy and that you know how to make yourself happy through working towards it, through accomplishing it, through doing it. I do this with myself a few times a day. I do it with my girlfriend. It's very easy for me to get negative. It's very easy for me to be unhappy. And for years I was, and it made me absolutely miserable. Miserable. I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 20 years old because I thought for sure that I was the most disgusting, loser, pathetic piece of shit that's ever existed. I didn't, I'll, I'll tell you guys some, some facts about me. You, you guys won't believe this. I didn't like leaving my house at all for years. I didn't like going to Walmart because everyone at Walmart was better than me. That's what I thought. I thought everyone at Walmart was, would look at me in disgust and feel they were better than me. I didn't want to be seen by them. I didn't like buying things from a cashier because I would have to interact with them and talk to them. And I was, had such social anxiety from feelings of inadequacy that it was hard for me to even talk to people. And you know what that did to me? That led me down the most negative possible path in many aspects of my life. And it made my life much, much worse. And it made me take years to accomplish things that I could have accomplished within a matter of days, weeks, or months. So what I'm telling you is rather than view your situation negatively, go way out of your way to view it positively. Go way out of your way to count your blessings instead of counting the negative things. Go way out of your way to choose to think about things that make you happy and to choose to be grateful. Because feelings of happiness and feelings of gratefulness and feelings of feeling lucky will expand and they will make everything better for you. Or you can have feelings of failure, feelings of negativity, feelings of hopelessness, and that will expand and you will feel that way too. And if you look back in your life, you'll notice this. Because the things that you loved, the things that made you happy, and the things you were confident in, and the things you were good at, like video games, like sports, maybe like friends, maybe like whatever it might be for you, maybe it was cooking. Those things made you happy. They fulfilled you. They brought more good to you. And the things that made you feel like crap, and the things that made you feel negative, those things, when you dwelled on them, only brought more of it. To the point where... You, at 16 years old, are unhappy that you have the world at your feet. That's what you're unhappy about. You're unhappy that the world is waiting for you. 
You're unhappy that all the good things in life are still yet to be taken, that you don't have them yet. Now, how silly is that? What would you rather do? Would you rather choose to be happy, positive, upbeat, and successful? Or would you rather choose to be unhappy, negative, downbeat, and unsuccessful? Because it's all in the story you tell yourself. If you tell yourself you are the luckiest person in the world, you have everything to be grateful for, that you're going to kick ass, that if someone else can do it, that so can you, and you know what you want in life, you know. You don't have to know everything, because that's going to change over time. But you have some things that you know you want. You want that girl. You want that job. You want that car. You want that body. You want that whatever, that thing, that house, that car. Then you can work towards that, and that's something that makes life worth living for. Accomplishment happiness, feelings of, of being something worthwhile, someone that can accomplish, someone that can do, someone that's desirable to the opposite sex, desirable as a friend because you're a good friend, desirable as an employee, as a boss. This is how you need to feel. And when you find yourself feeling negative throughout the day, you stub your toe and you think everything's just crap. You wake up late and you have to rush to school and you're just fucking angry and everything's just crap. No, you're lucky you woke up in time to still go. Or no, you're lucky because you got, you got to miss the first hour of that shitty class. No matter what you have to do, tell yourself a positive story. And when you're feeling really, really, really negative, and you don't think you can give yourself a pep talk, I'll tell you what to do. And I do this sometimes myself, and this is going to sound silly. What I do is, I take myself outside of my body, okay? I pretend I'm not even myself, okay? And what I do is, I tell my girlfriend to act as if she were me. And then I talk to her as if she was me. And I tell her all the things, as if she were myself, that she has to be happy about. From an outside perspective. I go, man, dude, I wish I could deadlift like 900 pounds. Man, you get to work from home. All you have to do is diet, and you're already going to have tons of muscle mass to look the way you want to look. I'm so jealous of that girl you're with, man. Mind you, this is me talking to my girlfriend. I'm so jealous of that girl you're with, man. She's so fucking hot. She loves you so much. She treats you so good. I really like that car you drive, man. Like, I'm, I'm really jealous of that charger you drive. I literally take myself outside of my body, and I compliment myself from a third person. I tell myself what I have to be happy about from a third person, because it's very hard sometimes to give yourself insight what you have to be happy about when you're unhappy because in your head you're going okay I have to be I have this and this and this and this and this to be happy about but I'm still not happy so who gives a fuck right but if you can take yourself outside of your body and look at it from an outside perspective not so bad at all actually it's a good thing how many times have you had all the answers for someone else but not for yourself how many times has someone else had all the answers for you but not for yourself try it try it. Give yourself pep talks. And if you can't, give someone else a pep talk if they were you. And if you can, find someone else to give you pep talks. But I'll tell you right now, you know what to tell yourself. You know what you want. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You know what you have to be happy about and, and what won't make you happy. So it's even easier to do it for yourself than to rely on someone else to do it for you. Learn how to pick yourself up because sometimes no one else can and no one else will. And even worse, if someone else tries, if you're in the wrong state of mind, you won't even let them because you'll be so set in wanting to feel the way you do for whatever reason. As human beings, we for some reason seemingly like to be unhappy. We seemingly like to be miserable because we don't want to be told we're being silly and we don't want to be told that we're lucky when we feel miserable because we want to complain, we want to bitch, and we want to go, woe is me. No, not woe is me, not woe is you, lucky us, lucky me, lucky you, okay? You have a laptop, you have a phone, you're watching this right now. You have electronics, you're in a house somewhere, an apartment or something, okay? You have your health, you have your youth. If you don't have your health and you don't have your youth, you got 50 other things to be happy about. I could go on endlessly, I could do this for anyone, okay? And you need to learn how to do it for yourself so that you too can get the most you can out of life. Because I'll tell you, like I said, happiness is not an accomplishment. It is not a place in time. It is not a thing. Happiness is a state of mind. It's gratefulness. 
It's seeing the positive. Because you can take someone like Robin Williams, who has everything in the world, every opportunity, everything, and be miserable. Or you can have absolutely nothing and be one of the happiest people in the world because you're grateful for your health, you're grateful for your family, you're grateful for your friends, for your food. You're just grateful and happy that you have all the things that other people take for granted. That someone who has everything looks right past and doesn't appreciate. Anyways guys, hopefully that helps some of you guys out. It helps me literally more than anything and this video is really just designed, really just put out there so that I can help people with this thing. Because I have to tell you, I struggled with it for years and years and years. And I know everyone struggles with it to some degree. And I know if you can apply these principles, if you can apply this stuff to yourself, it will help you if you have the same struggles as me. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out MuscleMasochist.com for approved products, apparel, online coaching, programs, and stuff like that. And stay tuned for more. Wow.